In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for ZnCl2, zinc chloride. Zinc, that's a metal, and chlorine, that's a nonmetal. When you have a metal and a nonmetal, you have an ionic compound. In an ionic compound, the metal will transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So we'll write zinc in the center, and then the chlorine on each side, because we have two of those. Zinc has two valence electrons, and then chlorine, which is in group 17, sometimes called 7A, chlorine has seven valence electrons. So we said the metal, the zinc, would transfer electrons to the nonmetal. So this electron here will go to this chlorine, and then this electron will go over here to this one. You can see they both now have full outer shells. Because this chlorine here, as well as this one, they each got an electron, and electrons are negative, this now has a negative charge. For zinc, which lost two electrons, it lost two negative charges, it now has a two plus charge. And it's these positive and negative charges, they're attracted, opposites attract, that form this ionic bond in zinc chloride. We should write brackets around each of the chloride ions to show that they're ions. And you'll often see brackets placed around the metal as well. And that makes this the Lewis structure for ZnCl2, zinc chloride. Do understand that zinc is a crystal and it's made up of a number of formula units. This is just one formula unit. In a crystal, you'll have a repeating array of formula units. Either way, this is helpful for us to understand how the valence electrons are transferred in ZnCl2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.